Well, that was a start to our morning. So, we just got to Laredo. Where it's 9.25. It is Thursday. 25 minutes late. Yeah, 25 minutes late. I have a doctor's appointment today. It's October 13th. <clears throat> and I'm 27 weeks and 5 days pregnant today. And we're going to the doctor so that I can get my glucose test and our 3D sonogram. I was supposed to... What? Can you slow down? Can I was... Can tell me what's new? Can you shut up? Can you shut your face? I was supposed to be there by 9. It's 9.26. Yeah, because somebody decided to leave at 8.17. 7, so whatever, we're already here. Hopefully she lets <clears throat> us see her little face at least. I'm starving. Wasn't supposed to eat anything before. So right now I'm super duper hungry. She's moving like crazy because she's like punching me in the stomach telling me to feed her already. <laughs> And I can't eat because I have to drink that ugly liquid. Hopefully it's not too bad. Everyone's just telling me that it tastes like a really sugary drink. And I like sugar, like I like sugar. So I hope it's not that bad. Um, I have heard though that people say that it upsets their stomach. I hope it doesn't upset mine. And I'm gonna have to wait there for an hour so that they can take out the blood right after. And I think they'll do the 3D sauna in between that, like while we wait and stuff. And hopefully we can get that on camera. Are you gonna try to record it? Um, like hiding? I'm gonna record it if she has a camera. <laughs> we'll try to get some something of the sauna. If not, we'll just show you the pictures if she lets herself be seen. Bert over here is dying. He's got a really bad cold. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Does it have mucus? And boogers. Ah, oh, that's what mucus is. Okay, smart ass. <laughs> I didn't get sick because I got my flu shot. I don't because it has a lot of chemical flu shots. He's anti, <clears throat> or what, right? Anti-vaccine. Vaccines. He doesn't like to get vaccines because he says whatever. You're supposed to get sick. How do you expect your immune system to get stronger? I don't know and I don't care. I'm gonna get shots. Are you guys for vaccines or <clears throat> against it? Do your research to see what's inside the vaccine. Do you guys, would you guys, do you guys give like your kids shots and stuff? Like do you take your kids to get shots? Let me know. So we'll see you guys inside the doctor's office. It's, she's been that way since my very first sauna. Really? Mm-hmm. What, upside down? Yeah, her head is still way down there. Yeah. She's ready. <laughs> Two pounds, 12 ounces. Mm -hmm. So that, at least so far, so good. <coughs> So we just got out of the sonogram like you guys saw. This little girl is just as stubborn as he is. And she didn't let us see her face, just her ear. And we got the little CD here so I want to see it slowly at home. But she's healthy. She's measuring a week ahead. So she's measuring 28 weeks. Which means she might be here like a week sooner than my due date which is January 7th. And that's crazy. We're just gonna wait for the doctor and so that they can take out my blood because I have to wait an hour. We'll see what the doctor That's says. Delicious. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 10 15 right now. Oh, you wanna show my belly? Ah, we're going. 
going in drive. I thought you had put it in reverse. No. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of the doctor's office. It's 1046. They took out my blood. I didn't tell them how the drink <coughs> tasted, right? No. Okay, the uh, drink. I don't know. I don't think I just did. Say it. The glucose test was not bad at all, at all, at all. The flavor that she gave me was clear. She said that it's a, it was supposed to taste like Hawaiian punch, but it didn't taste like Hawaiian punch. It tasted like, it had like a, like an aftertaste of cough medicine, but it wasn't strong at all, at all. It tasted more like cherry-ish. Um, cherry-ish? I didn't even know that was a... It tasted like cherry. If I had to drink a 20 ounce of that, I would. I could. It wasn't bad at all. They said that the the results will be ready by tomorrow, but if my doctor, if everything comes out fine, they won't call me until, I mean, they won't tell me anything until the two weeks that I come back, which will be on the 27th of October. And if something, if they do notice something, then they'll call me either tomorrow, which is Friday <coughs> or Monday morning. So hopefully everything comes out okay because I don't want to sit here for three hours the next time. There was a cop right there in the past already light in your face. In your face. But I had told you guys that baby girl is measuring 28 weeks instead of 27. So there's a chance that she'll be here a week before my due date, which is crazy because she might be a New Year's baby. She looks fine. She's just really stubborn though, like somebody I know. The more the Sonotech kept trying to get her to show us her face, the more she would turn over, like she was not having it today. She did not want to be seen. She wasn't on fleek. <laughs> she had to get her hair did. At least I know that she's happy and healthy and that's all that matters. But is it open? It's open. We are going to eat here. <clears throat> oh, she's open. The doors are open. They open at 11. Oh, 10 minutes till. Yeah. It says open. Yeah, it does. We came here to eat at Johnny Rockets because <clears throat> last night we were laying, well, yeah, we were laying in bed. And I told Bert that I wanted uh, a strawberry banana milkshake from here. So I wanna go have me a delicious shake. <laughs> Ultimate failure. Failure at its finest. The whole block doesn't so the, have gas. <laughs> the whole block doesn't have gas, so they're closed. Where do we eat now? I really wanted a shake. I really wanted Popeyes. I don't want Popeyes. gonna go to Baby's R Us to go buy little baby her crib and hopefully they have it and I don't know what other stuff we'll get her today but it's about time that we start getting stuff oh and I think we're gonna open a registry there also we just might because we were comparing prices of things from Target compared to Baby's R Us and it's cheaper I think we're gonna open a registry there also just to I don't know just to have stuff on there too to continue to compare prices and stuff like that so we'll know where to get what so that I can compare from both registries because we're also registered at Target. So we'll see you guys when we get there. So we did our baby registry. I got my little goodie bag and this is the crib that we're gonna get her. It comes with the changing table already and some drawers. 
So we're gonna start scanning away. Boo. Sit on it, is it comfy? <laughs> yes or no? mattress also it's a super soft mattress it's a sort of mattress we got her a sort of mattress so she can sleep like a little queen because they had no temper like what we had so <laughs> we went with the next best thing yeah we have a really good mattress and of course we only <coughs> wanted the best for our little baby so we got that hopefully we can go home and put it together uh or we can go home and you put it together. <laughs> so right now we're just gonna stop at Sam's real quick. We're gonna get some dog food for Sadie, <clears throat> some Slim Jims for my Hazel, and some grapes for myself. So I think after <clears throat> Sam's we're just gonna go home already. It's 12.53 already. We just got home. At Sam's we didn't record anything because we literally just got cat litter her dog food some oranges for myself and you got hazel's slim jims we call them slim jims but they're pepperonis and then we have baby's bed in her crib so we're gonna well he's gonna take everything down and hopefully we can put it together
Moreno heads off to number 21. Runs the right side. Runs down behind the line. Honor heads off inside. Moreno back to pass complete. This is like the next day. Last night we went to the football game, as you guys saw, and Brett finished putting her crib together. The funniest thing happened. He put it together and then like you guys saw that we were trying to put it together in the living room. Whenever he was putting it inside her nursery, it didn't fit in the door frame so he had to like it, there's a mess in the back literally there's a mess so he had to disassemble it put it inside her nursery and then he had to put it together again so just a tip for those of you who are going to be putting cribs together in the future put it together inside the bedroom that the crib is going to be in because sometimes like the one that we bought her is really big um i don't know if you guys well you guys saw it in the vlog while we were at babies r us but it's pretty big. I'll show it to you guys right now. Like I was saying last night, we finished doing the nursery. I mean, we finished putting together the crib. And then we took off to the football game. So you guys saw like a couple clips of the football game that we went to. And then we came home. We passed out. So today is Friday. Tomorrow I'll be 28 weeks. So I'm just letting you guys know like the days are different. So... We bought the crib yesterday and then today is a whole new day. That's why like my makeup and my shirt and stuff is different. So I'm just going to show you guys what the crib looks like. It doesn't have any bedding yet. I already ordered it though. So I will show you guys that whenever it gets here. But I just couldn't wait any longer and I had to like I told him you have to put it together already because I just want to see it like put together in her room and I like I don't know I, I tear up every time I walk into our bedroom because it's right next door and I have her door open and just seeing it put together I don't know it makes me emotional <laughs> I just, I love it. I cannot, I honestly cannot wait till she gets here. The room, like her nursery, is going to be my old beauty room. So, like my vanity and stuff is not going to, none of the things that are in here is going to stay in here. My vanity is going to move into my bedroom. So, if you guys want to see like half of a beauty room tour, um, let me know and I'll show you guys like my vanity or like my makeup collection or anything like that. Let me know if you guys would want to see that but it's up to you guys. Not I won't show you. So I'm just going to show y'all real quick her crib. It takes up, that fan isn't going to be here 
and the treadmill isn't going to be here. Um, and my vanity is not going to be here either. Like, all of this is going to leave. This whole side is a mess, but none of this is going to be here. Like, her crib is going to go on this side so that I can see her. Because um, our bedroom is, like, right there. So, I need to move her crib to this wall so that I'll be able to see her. This is what her crib looks like. This is a mattress we got her. It's the Beautyrest Black Air Cool Memory Foam mattress. This mattress was $200, but at Babies R Us, they had it, um, they had a 50% off, 50, 50 dollars off, sorry, not percent. Um, so we got her that one. It's like the best one that they had. The other ones were really hard and stuff, and we don't want her sleeping on anything hard. Um, it comes with a little changing table up here. So I'm not taking any of the plastic off until we get her bedding. But even then, like, I don't think I'm going to take the plastic off because we have a cat. And I don't want, like, her hair to get on it because she's right here. And she's already rubbing up on it and I know cat's hair is bad for babies. And then it just has like this storage here and it has two drawers. I think I'm going to take those down and like have her own little decorations up. But this is what her crib looks like. It's really big. It's really pretty. I'm really happy that we got this one. And the best thing about it is that it eventually changes into a day bed or like the toddler bed. And then... You can also transition it into a full-size bed. And I'm not sure about leaving this in here um, so that I can store some of her things. But I do know for sure that another main piece that I want to get and we need to make room for will be her rocking chair. Or like my rocking chair. And then her dresser. I think that's about it because it's a, it's like a fairly small room so I don't want it to be like really crowded so I think with just like her rocking chair and the dresser it's gonna be fine I don't know if I'll have room for that but if I do it'll probably stay there this is my almost 28 week belly dad just walked in the room <laughs> what are you doing nothing I was showing them the crib and stuff so we'll see but I think that about does it for this vlog. Um, thank you guys so much if you guys made it till the end. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. And if you guys are liking these videos, let me know if I should keep doing them. If we should keep vlogging or what you guys want to see next. Sorry I sound all nasally. He's sick and I don't know if I'm coming down with something. I don't think I should though because I got my flu shot. That about does it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye guys. What up you guys? So it is, today is October 24th, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, today is October 24th. Last time you guys saw us was October 13th, which was my doctor's appointment. But we didn't vlog last week when I was, let me see, I was 28 weeks. You guys saw me when I was 27. The last day that I vlogged was the day that I showed you guys the crib, which was on the Friday. And then the next day I was going to turn 28 weeks. And right now, today, I'm 29 weeks and 3 days. So you guys, my makeup is all over the place. Um, I'll explain why we haven't been vlogging or anything like that last week, but I wanted to show you guys baby girl's crib. Don't mind my makeup. I fell asleep when we got home. So yeah, my makeup is a mess, but whatever. So um, I'm going to show you guys her bedding because it's finally here and we have everything put together. Not the entire nursery, just her crib. So let's show you guys that. <laughs>
like I said before I showed you all the crib, was like two weeks ago. And we're just going to add this to the vlog that we're, that he's like finishing editing right now. So yeah, I didn't want a whole nother week to go by because the next time you guys see us will be, I'll be 30 weeks and like some days. But we've been super busy the last two times that he's come home. Update on the glucose test. I failed. <laughs> I think me liking sugar, the fact that I was able to drink it like a piece of cake should have been like my first, you know, thing that it was going to come out high or something. Well, it wasn't really that high. The level that it was supposed to be at was at 139 and mine came back at 140 at 145 so I was only five numbers above but um, I went back to the doctor I think last week and he said that I was gonna have to go back and do the three-hour test so that has to get done but he said usually like um, when you're pregnant your body releases this hormone that I think it, he said it's the placenta that releases the hormone I'm not sh I'm not sure do not quote me but that that's probably why since I didn't come out so many above he said giving your body the three hours for it to like process the sugar it should I should be fine so I'm hoping that it works and that I won't go over again but if I if I do then I just have to take care of myself and it's not because I eat sugar every day all day it's just sometimes most women get it so it's pretty normal yeah we'll we'll see how that goes I have to go back for the three hour test November 2nd so and he's gonna be home so he's gonna have to go with me right so we'll probably vlog that again because they're going to have to poke me every hour for three hours. They're going to have to check my blood. So I'm going to get blood taken out three times. And then that visit, they told me that I couldn't eat the night before after midnight. And then I have to be at the doctor's office by 8.30. So it's going to be a really long morning. It'll be worth it. Hopefully the next time he's off, we'll be able to go do something fun. <laughs> Hopefully. But yeah, I think that about does it. I want to make this video super long because it's probably already going to be 30 minutes long. Uh, here, let me try to show my belly. Come it down. Come hmm? it down. Yeah. This is it. I don't know if it's gotten bigger since the last time, like two weeks ago that y'all saw it. So we're going to finish editing the video so that I can edit that, so that I can finish editing it and have it up by tonight at least. It's already 7. So if anything, this video is going to go up really late at night, but I hope not. I hope not. If not, I'll upload it tomorrow morning, which is Tuesday, October 25th. So... We're the 24th. Yeah. If I don't upload it tonight, I'll upload it tomorrow that it's going to be Tuesday, October 25th. So I think that about does it for this entire vlog that's like three weeks long. But I pretty much showed you guys everything and we'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye.